thank you enough. You've been just a real lifesaver this past couple of days. Yeah, well, I really don't know what we're going to do without you next year when you're off to college. Hey, didn't you used to have another sibling? A sister, I believe? Oh. Well, great. Does she not babysit? She's five. So what? There's a ton of mommy blogs raving about how all the successful people started being responsible from an early age. Yeah, you know what? You go home and ask her and come back to me with an answer, okay? Great. Bye bye. Oh my god, ladies, you wouldn't believe the kind of day I just had. For a second there, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to host tonight's book club. Can you believe that? So, if you don't mind, could you just talk a little bit quieter? I just got little Shrek to bed and let me tell you, lately it's been such an ongoing battle to get that kid to sleep. I just, I don't know anymore. I never thought it'd be this hard. He's already 72 months old, so I thought he'd be more self-sufficient by now. I just don't know anymore. Motherhood is such a tough job. Oh my god, Susan, if you raise your voice at me one more time, I'm cutting you off. And you can just kiss that spot on the board for the church fundraiser goodbye. And good luck finding a better volunteer position this late in the year. Yeah. You will just end up picking trash at the community park. And I bet you don't want that now, do you? That's so. I'm so glad that you like the tea. Yes, well, 
been such a hectic day and I didn't have the time to go to the shops to get that Earl Grey that we all like, so I had to get creative. Oh no, I just boiled some Mountain Dew. So now that we are all here, I guess we should start with what we liked best about this book. Oh my god, Karen, why did you just come at all if you hadn't read the entire thing? I know and everybody here knows that you are a working mother, but really, is peddling Avon to your friends and family a real job? Sometimes you're just too much, Karen. What was that? Oh, Julia won't be making it tonight. Well, ask her. I guess she really took it personally that we didn't go with her book selection for this week. But she should know by now, this is a serious book club and her choice. Oh, come on, The Hunger Games. She should know that I really take offense to people making light of suffering and stuff like hunger. Hunger isn't a game and you of all people know that better than anyone else that I just care so deeply about all these causes. Like I am the first person to like and share a cause on Facebook. I've done basically everything by now. Animal rights, starving children, polar bears, panda bears, brown bears, gummy bears, everything. Now, I know that I am more woke than most people, so that's why I take it upon myself to educate the people around me. So I went to her and told her, you know what, Julia, you either wake up and choose a better book or you are uninvited from this week's book club. And I guess she just made her choice. Now, if you ask me, thirst should be her game rather than hunger. I mean, we've all seen how she looks at that male florist that just opened up. Oh, she was just my favorite character out of the entire book. Yeah, the author really makes you feel about her and it's such a shame that by the end it's revealed that she was addicted to painkillers all along and her adventures were just like hallucinations. Speaking of drugs, I heard the craziest thing about Marsha's kid. Yeah, the older one. She got caught with like a six whole marijuanas on her. Oh, don't you poor kid me. She was going to do it, I can guarantee you 100%. I mean, at this point, I am not even surprised. What I'm wondering, however, is who did she inherit this gorgeous work ethic from? I mean, it's clearly not her parents. I mean, you've seen the state that their lawn is in. But it's not the lawn of people who have any entrepreneurial qualities now, is it? There's this character that's being introduced to the story later on. She's sort of a friend of the main girl. Um, what was her name? Ella? Elena, maybe? Gosh, I can't remember. Eleanor, yes. 
So as I was reading the story, I kept telling myself that she reminds me of someone that I know in real life, but I just couldn't put my finger on whom it was. All right, Trish. She does kind of remind me of Trish. And speaking of whom, I ran into her the other day at the supermarket. We were in the frozen food aisle and she reached for the same box of tendies as me and I am sure that was just an accident because lo and behold, what do I see on her finger? The biggest, most blinding rock I have seen in my entire life. Like. I wouldn't want to be her because I'm sure something pretty bad is going down in her marriage right about now. Oh, come on, don't say that. And furthermore, why would he buy her a gift like that if they were in fact getting a divorce? It makes no sense. Now, my theory and you know me, I am not much of a gossip, I don't like spreading rumors of any kind. My theory is that one of them, namely the husband, is having an affair and by the looks of that ring, he's having one of those sex tape with a porn star level of affairs. It's just so sad that he feels the need to buy his wife's love like that, but, you know, that's none of my business. please help yourself to some snacks they were made freshly just today well I didn't say they were made by me per se I mean I was going to cook something especially for this occasion I even looked up the recipes because you know how I only like to eat healthy food so I was looking up this recipe online and you know how you usually get ads on the side of the page for stuff you basically don't need like audiobooks and blue aprons or whatever? Well, apparently there's this little cute bakery downtown that kept advertising so I said well, basically this is a sign from God that I should do my catering with them so I called them and placed my order and apparently they had the audacity to tell me that they do not deliver so I had to get dressed, go downtown, pick up my order and then return home and honestly it was such a hassle I think it would just been easier if I were to bake them myself but, you know, I had already placed the order and I am not that kind of person. So, in a way, it's like I made them myself, but not really. Anyway, what do you guys think about the main love interest? Wasn't he just the most bland character ever? Excuse you? Um, where are you guys going? What do you mean, home? We barely even started talking about the book. Oh, you told your husband you'd be home by 8 and it's already 8.30? Yeah, no, I, I totally understand. I mean, it's so easy for me to get sidetracked when I'm talking about books. Anyway, see you guys next week. Same time. Okay, great. Bye, safe trip. Say hello to the kids for me. 
बाय